Chair recognizes the lady from Grant for explanation vote not to exceed two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. May I explain my vote, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I am proud to vote yes today on this resolution, and frankly, I think that after being under a prolonged two-year state of emergency, it is high past time. One of the remarks that was made by the original sponsor and committee today really resonated with me, talking about the Johns Hopkins study, which is uh, a part of a myriad of other research studies that have indicated that no aspect of state government's handling of the coronavirus has in any way curtailed the severity or spread of it in terms of the restrictions, mandates, lockdowns, and things of that nature. And I've also heard a lot of commentary about federal funding and that this resolution could possibly lead to that ending. But in all reality, we are failing to acknowledge the vicious cycle that has occurred that has necessitated the need for federal funding to begin with, which was shutting down the economy. And that has led to rapid inflation and all kinds of socioeconomic issues that we are going to be contending with for years. So I am glad that we are ending the state of emergency. It's no secret that I wish that we would have ended it much sooner. Thank you.